So, uh, geckos, uh, you may be familiar with uh, certain depictions of geckos or gecko-like uh, animals, so in like car insurance, in Fallout, in the game, or well, the games, plural. Uh, well, actually, I don't know how, how many they appear in, in the gecko uh, creatures, but anyway, then the Metroid Prime, and uh, I love the geckos. So they're in there, so yeah. But also, what's interesting is uh, so in the films, like The Hobbit, uh, it says Smaug the Dragon. And uh, what's interesting, well, we'll come on that in a second, but first, uh, we'll get to why uh, Smaug in the films pupil and its eye looks a bit like Gecko's pupils, which is interesting. So, uh, if we uh, look here, they're like token gecko pupils. So it can constrict the pupil. When it does, it can, uh, you can sort of see four like diamond shaped, sort of diamond shaped pinholes in the pupil, which is interesting. Uh, but uh, Geckos aren't the only animals that can have like pinholes in their pupils, like in like sharks, they can have it, and do like in bottlenose dolphins, they can have it. So these are just uh, pupil shapes. And I've also included as a bonus, uh, like yellow bellied toad, uh, like their pupils, because they can be like heart shaped. So I thought that was an interesting thing. Uh, and then what's interesting is uh, like lychees, the New Caledonian giant geckos. I was looking at their pupils uh, and like, I'm not really going to comment on them because I haven't read any papers on their pupils, but you can see they look quite nice. Yeah. And then gonatodes antelensis, which is uh, that gecko there, is interesting because it's in a group where there's sort of, well, first it's in the Spherodactylini tribe, which is a group that's just a uh, pointed spear moss to make it look like a, a tribe member. And that's a gecko that's a member of the Spherodactylini tribe, uh, which is interesting. But in the Spherodactylini tribe, they can be, uh, they can have like round pupils, which is interesting. But uh, Gonatodes antelensis can have a vertical pupil, whereas other Gonatodes species can have like round pupils. So it's thought that Gonatodes antelensis may have been diurnal, but is now uh, nocturnal. Yeah, I think it's, yeah. Which is interesting. Which is interesting because, uh, so the pinholes we're talking about, uh, I'm not sure if they've re-evolved in Gonatodes antelensis or if because I haven't seen like a close-up picture so I don't know if they've re-evolved or they've uh the, the or, or Gonatodes antelensis doesn't have the pinholes when the pupils contract but both possibilities are interesting uh, again I'm not going to comment on what what I think it will have because uh, I I haven't read any paper. Well, I read, but I haven't read any papers on on the about the pupil of Gonatodes antelensis apart from ones saying that it's a well. One, I think ones which say it's. Uh, well, I know I know it has a vehicles. <laughs> so like people, I, I've probably read papers on it saying that, and you can see from pictures it has a vehicle so like pupil. But anyway, so yeah, but that's an interesting possibility. Like, does Gonatodes antelensis 
people have the pinholes in I mean I'd maybe assume not but you never know so yeah so that's interesting so uh yeah so then smog so on the on the right is half is half of smog's people from the hobbit films and on the left is half of a toke gecko's pupil yeah so you can see for like the because in if it was all toke gecko's people you would be able to see it would look like diamonds because this is just half of toke gecko's people it just looks like half of diamonds like four half of diamonds Oh, hopefully you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> but anyway, you can see them, like there would be the four diamond shapes. And with Smaug, on this side of the eye, uh, you can also see sort of four diamond shapes. It would be, not four, sorry, uh, but you would see the diamond shapes. Uh, yeah. Assuming it's... I, it's assuming it's people symmetrical, you would assume I had three uh, diamond sort of shaped things. Whereas like totally geckos can have four. So that's interesting how Smaug's people in the Hobbit films is quite similar to geckos and stuff. And so when, when I was designing fantasy, uh, like character, like gecko sort of characters, so I've done like the gecko, like creature character design. So here's the eyes of the, here's some of the eyes of some of the characters. So you could maybe have like a religious character, which got like uh, more of like a cross shaped pupil. And this actually looks a bit like the pupil of uh, Smaug from the, the Hobbit, because I'm not sure if Smaug's pupil was inspired by gecko pupils, but it, it can have like sort of like the diamond shapes in it. And so that's a religious character which could have a cross shaped pupil to show it. You could have like a loving, nurturing character, it's like could have like heart shapes and plant shaped pupil. You could have a sad character, uh, which could have. Um, like tears or raindrop shape pupil and yeah so what I will say is these I guess these are more like I'm like gecko don't the character might not be Christian so I guess it's more like symbol symbolism for the uh for like the reader or the person looking at them or whatever. So yeah. And then you could have a queen character and it could have like crown shape pupil. So yeah. So like, yeah, if you flip that on the side of it, like a crown. Yeah, so that's that.